Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss about Athena Federated Query. Okay, so what is that? Before exploring and understanding that concept, let us try to understand what is the meaning of Federated or Federation. Okay, like you might have studied Russian Federation. So what that meaning of federation that is nothing but states will be independent and can handle their internal affairs independently but anyway at the end of the day they will be with the central government right that kind of centralized system whenever we have to explain that time we use this particular word federated or federation right now let's try to understand how Athena can work as a centralized SQL query execution engine for different data sources, okay? And that's how this particular term came, Athena Federated Query, that is using Athena Query Execution, we can query not only S3 data lake, but we can query multiple data sources, okay? And how that is possible? That is possible using Lambda, okay? That is basically using Lambda, we can connect to different source system that is DynamoDB, DocumentDB, Redshift or some RDS system, whether that is SQL Server, MySQL, etc, etc. Or maybe we can connect with on-prem system also and then execute the query against those databases and then get the result set and store that in our S3 data lake. Okay. So that we can do using Athena. That way Athena is basically acting like a centralized SQL query execution engine. And that's why this kind of query also called as or also termed as Athena Federated Query. Okay, right. Now let's try to fill this concept, how to set up everything so that we can basically use this Athena Federated Query for our purpose. Okay, that's what I am going to discuss now. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can query DynamoDB table from Athena. Okay, earlier I have shown you one particular technique that is first you have to run a glue crawler which will crawl the data of DynamoDB and will populate the inferred schema in a glue catalog table in a particular database, right? And that database and table we can use in Athena for querying purpose. Obviously that is one option. Another option can be directly using Athena Federated Query using Lambda and DynamoDB connector, okay? So let's directly jump into AWS Management Console and let's see how it happens, okay? So for that first, what we require? We require a DynamoDB table, right? So for querying the DynamoDB table from Athena, I created one DynamoDB table, okay? So India dataset if I show you and explore table items if I go, the query did not return any result. So currently it is having no result. What I will do, I basically created a lambda code, very simple, which basically call the news API and then populate the data in the DynamoDB table. Okay, right. And let me, or let me just click on this and then I will click on test. Okay. And then here I will run the test. Okay. So this is the code which I created to populate the data. Any dummy data you can populate in DynamoDB table for your purpose. And then if I refresh this particular page, here you will be seeing some sentiment related to some news. That is title part, what that sentiment is indicating. Okay. Then when it is published. Okay. Then what is the content first 100 or 200 characters of the main body part. And then sentiment of the content, okay, then the title, okay, and the URL from where the data is extracted, that kind of information we have extracted, okay. So here you can see some sentiments are detected as negative using AWS Comprehend, okay. So this is anyway our DynamoDB table. Now we will try to query this one from Athena, okay. So how to do that? So for that, first what I will do, I will keep this S3 open because it will be requiring, and then here. I will also, sorry, I will go to S3 and I will keep the management console open in another tab. So currently here you can see Athena result set capture uh, demo 2. So this particular bucket I created to capture the result set of any Athena query. Okay, that is this particular part. Athena, whenever query happens, it will store the data in data lake, right? So this bucket I created. Okay, now to connect with DynamoDB from Athena, go to Athena okay and then here you can go to data sources okay and then here connect data source so here see DynamoDB connector is there so the click on DynamoDB 
data source name you have to give okay so demo yt athena okay maybe that is sufficient now lambda function so as i have told you right that already some pre-built connectors are there this lambda will basically in the back end will connect with dynamodb and fetch the result set whatever query we are trying to execute from athena right so it is asking for the lambda function okay so now what we'll do we don't have any lambda if you see here if i go to lambda function we don't have any lambda as of now to uh, connect with dynamodb okay so here i will create a new lambda and here i will click on create a new lambda function okay and then here see already this source code is there okay amazon athena federation and athena dynamodb connector code is there all you have to do you have to run this particular uh, serverless okay so what we will do uh, here see some setup we have to do application setting application name let it be default spill bucket okay what is spill bucket so if you go to this particular github you will be exploring more about different parameters required to connect in between lambda and dynamodb okay to act like a connector so here if i go to dynamodb you will see spill bucket okay so what is that when the data returned by your lambda function exceeds lambda's limit this bucket is used okay so for that let me create one bucket okay some name i am giving okay so this bucket will be giving name there okay sorry this is the one i'll be choosing that and then here i'll be pasting that okay then here athena catalog name so it will be basically here you need to specify the name what the lambda function name will be see it will be also be used as function name so whatever you specify here that will be your lambda function name which is basically acting like connector in between athena and dynamodb okay so here i can give athena connector with dynamodb so that from the lambda name itself we can understand so as of now if you check if i refresh this page here that kind of lambda is not there right okay then once that is done let the other properties default here lambda memory lambda timeout you can specify spin prefix also you can specify but i am not changing those default things and kms key id suppose you want to encrypt the data when it is using spill bucket okay so that time you can use this uh, some specific kms key i am not doing that i am just creating deploy okay so now this particular serverless application will try to deploy okay just give some time it might take okay so here if we go here deployment section if you go it is see create in progress okay just wait for some time it will be soon deployed you can refresh this page till then okay create in progress let it complete so see create complete now if i go to lambda function and if i refresh this page here see athena connector with dynamodb this lambda is created okay and this is in java okay the connector whatever is created is java okay if you want you can explore this code no problem by downloading it in cloud9 or in local okay or from github also directly you can explore no problem so our lambda is deployed now we can use that lambda to connect with dynamodb okay so now let me show you that how to connect this particular athena via this lambda to the dynamodb okay so what i will do i will refresh this and then here athena connector with dynamodb this is the lambda i'll be choosing tags i am not keeping okay so this is the one which is our data source okay demo yt athena and i will connect data source I will execute that so here it is in the data source it is created see demo athena now i will go to query editor and in query editor i will be choosing that particular data source just now i created okay soon you should see some tables see 
India dataset is coming. So here basically in our DynamoDB, India dataset is the table name, right? Now suppose I want to query this particular table for whatever news, the title is kind of giving negative sentiment that I want to pull alone. Okay. So anyway, what will happen when I will query in Athena, it will hit Lambda, Lambda will hit DynamoDB, DynamoDB will return the result to Lambda, Lambda will return the result to Athena and Athena will store in S3. In which S3? Basically, if you go here, in this particular S3, it should be stored. So what I will do, I will go to Athena and I will go to settings and before running, I will query result set storage where it is needed to be stored. I will be just updating that location and then here I can hit run select query from Athena against DynamoDB okay this India data set uh, where where what is the column if you want to check the DynamoDB column here you can get itself sentiment title okay so here sentiment title equal to negative okay anyway nowadays most of the news are negative so let's see so here if I run this particular query, hope will not get any error. So it is successfully getting executed. See publish time sentiment is negative, content sentiment is neutral, title sentiment is negative. What is title? Title is showing opponent slam center over decision to extinguishing the flame of Amar Jawan Jyoti. Okay, so basically. Uh, yeah, this is something what is going on in India anyway. I'm not going to do those party politics stuff, but you just try to understand. Here we are executing from Athena to DynamoDB, okay? And all this, in all these cases, Athena is acting like a centralized SQL query engine, right? How beautifully, without writing a single piece of code with the existing uh, GitHub uh, pre built connector, we are able to deploy so much uh, quickly this per kind of connectors right now you can explore some other connectors i'll be providing some documentation link in the description box so that you can explore and now if i go to this particular s3 location and if i refresh this particular page you will be getting unsaved year month and then date and here we'll be getting a csv file if i just click on download to this particular csv file we'll be getting the result okay so this is another technique to take back off of DynamoDB using Athena. Okay, that is Athena Federated Query. So see, publish time. Okay, oh, everything you are able to see, right? So, yeah, and then your data analyst team, business intelligence team, or maybe a uh, machine learning engineering team can do some kind of more analysis on this kind of data, right? So that's pretty much it for my this particular discussion. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to delete this kind of stuff so whenever you are launching. So let me delete all these stuffs also. So here, whatever two buckets we created, I'll be first deleting everything. So here I will be writing permanently delete. Okay. Permanently deleted. And then this bucket I'll be deleting. It is deleted and this one also I'll be deleting. So both the S3 buckets deleted whatever we created, right? And then we have to delete the serverless deployment as well. Okay. So if you go to Lambda application here, you will be seeing this particular one. If you go to action and then click on delete. Okay. Click on this particular one, right? And then here you click on delete, delete this stack. Okay, it will delete this stack. So currently you are seeing right Athena connector with DynamoDB code is there. Soon it will be going away because we started deletion. See, it is gone, right? So don't forget to clean up the cloud environment whenever you are done with some experiment. Okay, otherwise it may unnecessarily bring some cost. Okay, so see deletion completed. So our stack is deleted, right? And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this particular video, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.